So we have all these interfaces and sensors and actuators, so we needed a way to bring it all together onto one common hardware and software platform. For that, we chose the National Instruments Compact Rio. We chose the Compact Rio for its ability to provide the connectivity to the wide variety of hardware in our system. Uh, additionally, we use the FPGA target on the Compact Rio to provide the high-speed acquisition, processing, and control necessary to function in the high-speed and time-critical driving environment. Now, finally, our team consisted of solely undergraduate mechanical engineers, so understandably, we had little to no experience in any specific text-based programming language. Uh, however, thanks to the intuitive graphical programming interface of LabVIEW FPGA, it allowed us to quickly progress from learning embedded design to deploying a blind driver in this vehicle in just four months. Now, we did bring along uh, one of the many interfaces that we use to present the, the information to the driver non-visually and allow them to interact with their environment. And Ray, if you want, you can hop in the driver's seat here. All right. Uh, get your hands and ears on some LiDAR data. So what you'll be doing is performing some basic obstacle detection. And uh, Dr. I want you to act as our obstacle today. Oh, you want me to be the obstacle? OK. <clears throat> things I'll do for science. <sighs> OK, so all you need to do is put on that blindfold. Uh, you'll be paying attention to the feedback in the headphones and interacting with the system with that stylus on the touchpad on the, on the right console. Don't worry, Dr. Hong. I'm a very good driver. <laughs> so as you see, on the top left, you'll see an image of the perspective of what a sighted driver may see. Directly below that is data uh, correlated from the LiDAR that, th that Ray's actually interacting with, with the touchpad. There he is. I found him. Now, as he scans on the touchpad, he's getting audio feedback in terms of a, an audible click track that varies frequency based on the proximity to that obstacle that he's looking at. Now, when he's ready, he can press a button for an on-demand audio cue where the FPGA will actually talk to him and tell, tell Ray how far away he is. So, Ray, you probably now know why we have Braille on a drive-up ATM machine, right? Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. Now, as you can see, the involvement of NI technology has allowed us to design, prototype, and deploy the world's first vehicle to be safely and independently operated by a blind driver. Now, <laughs> now through this design project, we were able to cre create a great partnership with the National Federation of the Blind. And through this partnership, we gained access to dozens of blind drivers who were able to test out our interfaces, give us feedback on the interfaces, and also allow us to create those interfaces not only for the blind, but also with the blind. Now, we have a special guest with us today who is one of history's very first independent blind drivers. He's also the executive director of the National Federation of the Blind Jernigan Institute, and he's here today to tell us a little bit more about blind driver from his perspective. Let's welcome Mark Riccobono. Thank you, Kimberly. Appreciate that. Innovation can occur only at the intersection where a seemingly impossible problem meets imaginative thinkers who have an unwavering belief in the human spirit. The National Federation of the Blind established the Blind Driver Challenge, an attempt to solve a seemingly impossible problem out of an unwavering belief in the capacity of blind people, a resource frequently underestimated. The fact is, today, society expects very little from blind people. And when you start from the perspective that little is possible, it is impossible to get more than little accomplished. Our vision for the future is more bold and imaginative. In a symbolic sense, the blind are shooting for the moon. The Blind Driver Challenge is the great quest for innovation a quest to take full advantage of the untapped capacity of people. The innovations from our work will benefit us, but they will also benefit you. One day, we will reflect upon our speculation that the blind will drive, as the innovative pattern of thought that created tremendous spin-off benefits for all of society. The NFB Blind Driver Challenge is a powerful example of what new applications of technology need to be pursued, why we must inspire and engage more individuals to be engineers, and how to create innovation. Until we found partnership with the team at Virginia Tech, only the blind 
believed in the vision of the NFB Blind Driver Challenge. The workhorse technologies of national instruments and the innovative thinkers behind those technologies are now contributing to our quest. We invite you to join in our vision and contribute to our quest. If you strive to do nothing less than change the world, empower people, and find practical applications of knowledge to expand the horizons of our society, come join with the National Federation of the Blind, Virginia Tech, and National Instruments, and together we will drive into the future. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Thank you guys.